Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and we've got some really cool news because Voscoin has gone and reviewed a new mining rig. Now, this mining rig, in the review, specifically, uh, he's talking about the autocrypt mining of this unit, which is really cool to see. So this is the TPS 1530, and it's a really great review, um, goes into a whole lot of details, and I think, best of all, it's cool to see a lot more interest taking place in FPGA mining, specifically around Digibuy and around Autocrypt. So more competition, more options for people to purchase. I think it's all really great. And this is a fantastic review here from the Voscoin channel. Um, they've got links down there, but if you click on it at the moment, unfortunately, this will take you through to the website. But there has been some store problems, so you can't currently buy one. Bit of a bummer. Um, but they basically say you reach out to them in their contact form and, and they'll get you sorted sort of thing But yeah, thank you to Voscoin for this review specifically around this miner focusing on Digibyte focusing on Autocrypt It's really great to see appreciate the shout outs Binance have gone and added an additional peering for Digibyte. So this is cool now everybody knows how I feel about them, but I'm I'd like to think I'm big enough to put aside my own feelings and basically say this is great that there is an additional option here for trading specifically with USDT. So it's really cool to see that there are more options for people to buy and sell, especially on Binance. I know a lot of people use it. So yeah, that's great. Another way to get your hands on or to sell did you buy? Fantastic. Thank you to Binance for sorting that out for us. Um, really cool to see that coming out so soon after the original listing. What is it's only been a couple of weeks now, I think actually. So that's that's cool. There must be some definite interest going on there, which is it's great. It's cool to see. Going from centralized exchange to decentralized finance, though, uh, Noah has gone and put up a really cool video talking about Ren and specifically how this could impact Digibuy and decentralized finance and the way that all of this kind of thing works. It ties together. Um, so he's gone and he did a live stream uh, where we're, it was a couple of days ago now. Really great video, really kind of explains some of the, the nuts and bolts and how it works and why it works. So if you've got questions around decentralized finance and how it could be impacting Digibyte or how Digibyte could impact that decentralized finance world, definitely go and give Noah a subscription, check him out on YouTube, I'll include a link to this video down below in the details, it's well worth checking out. One last thing, so a couple of days ago I asked, I said, uh, I'm going to go and share a few more stats on Digibyte. And I'm curious to think what people happen, I'm curious to think what people have happened, that's wrong. I'm curious to know what people think has happened, there we go, over the last 12 months since Autocrypt came out. Um, and, and for comparison, because a lot of people seem to believe that the price is directly correlated to the hash rate. And so I said, price is up 70%. Sure, it's gone down, it's gone up, it's gone down, it's gone up. But since 12 months ago, we are currently up approximately 70%. So I said, what do people think? Uh, number go up was <laughs> the, the overwhelming, overwhelming um, choice there. Um, but interestingly, yeah, some I'll go up, some down was actually another, another common selection there. So I've gone and put together a, a bit of a medium post where you can go and check it out. So... Um, the eagle-eyed among you have noticed that this actually says 24 hours there. That's because I basically, actually, let me bring up Digistats just so that people can see it. What I've done is I've gone to Digistats, and you can go into each individual one. You can go view, and then you can change to last one year. And that'll give you the details. So although it isn't the 24 hours, I go into specifically the details, how I got that. We average it out a little bit more, so we get the two-day kind of rolling average to give us a better, more, like, flatter-ish flatter -ish kind of idea there. Man, that coffee really hasn't kicked in this morning, has it? Leave a comment down below with a coffee emoji if, if you reckon I need more coffee. Well, I can't even... <laughs> I need, need more coffees in the morning. Anyway, but what I do is we go into it. So we use a little bit of math here. And the really cool thing is you can actually take this and throw this math directly into Google by basically just replacing D with the difficulty, which I talk about here. So it'd be 500 million here, 3.2 billion. And I talk about the hash rate that that gives us. Do you want to come and say hello for the last little bit of this video, buddy? Come on. Yeah, come and say hello. 
And so I talk about the, the hash rate here for each of them, long story short, it's gone up. So let's quickly, we'll skim down here. So we're SHA-256, up 7x from a year ago, seven times the hash rate, despite the value only going up 70%. We then look at Iscript, up 3.3 times, uh, 2.7 times increase here for Skeen. The Qubit algorithm, 5.6 times increase, and Autocrypt is, where are we? I do a little bit, uh, there we go, 7.1 times increase. Not too shabby for just one year. So yeah, go and check it out. I, like, I find this kind of thing fascinating. It's really interesting to see the longer term changes here. You're just going to walk down my arm. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody before we disappear? No. That's going to be all from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Consider leaving a like, subscribe, hit the share button. I'll include links to everything down in the description below. Leave a comment. Leave me a, a nice coffee emoji and something else to encourage me to get through clearly what is going to be a long day today. You can reach me on Twitter. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. I'll talk to you in the next video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.